no, nah, Jesus kept that ethnic racist mentality. And many people, so your question is not off base. It's not changing the subject matter as far as Jesus calling the Hellenistic Canaanite woman a dog. No, Jesus was very adamant about the fact that the Gospels, the, 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 the return to this God, was to be preached first to the tribes of Israel. Whether it was the tribes of Israel that was located there in the Levant, as well as all the tribes of Israel that had been sent off in exile as a diaspora throughout the Mediterranean. You see, during the Assyrian uh, conquest of the Levant and into the Sinai Peninsula, many Israelites, especially those northern ten tribes, were exiled from what was northern Israel. During Babylonian captivity, they were exiled. Some were allowed to return, but they were exiled. And when you look at the fact that these writings all occurred after Titus conquered Judea in 70 CE, and upon conquering Israel, he sent the tribes of Israel all throughout the Mediterranean, throughout the Roman Empire, as customary, when you conquer a people, oftentimes the Romans would send them off as slaves throughout the empire. So, in this Great Commission, Jesus was initially talking about going and preaching to all the Israelites who were still in Judea, as well as all the Israelites who had been exiled throughout the Roman Empire. So when he said to go and talk to them, to all the nations, it can be easily and understandably understood as teaching to the tribes that are in the diaspora. And those are the ones that you're supposed to talk to. Now, later reiterations, he goes, says, then you can go and talk to the Gentiles. They're secondary. They are just as the woman, the, the, the Hellenistic Canaanite woman described it, as even dogs eat the scraps that falls from the master's table. So Jesus kept that same ethnocentric energy in saying that, hey, after you've preached to all the people, then, to all the Israelites, then you can preach to the dogs and give them the scraps that has fallen from the master's table. And seeing as how the earliest manuscripts I gotta find me a new place to record without that air condition. Even though the earliest manuscripts are from Paul, to whom Paul initially went out and spoke to the Gentiles instead of speaking to the tribes of Israel, the later manuscripts of what we later become known as Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John were written during a time frame when the Romans ruled and Paul had already been teaching to all the Gentiles so it was as if the other writers focused on bringing it back to teaching to the tribes of Israel first and then teaching to the Gentiles so Jesus kept that same energy and Christians today love to say that they are grafted in which is merely in today's vernacular to say that they are the blended family. The original family is here. I mean, it's like a man coming into a household where um, she already has children. And he basically spends more time with the children that she has, and, but he brings his children over from time to time. The benefits of the father, his, er, his first children, are, are, are not really getting the fullness of the fatherhood. These other children are. That's Paul. That's how Paul's teachings were working. So the other manuscripts were written on the flip side of that, as if the father had his children. And he brings in, he marries another woman, and she got kids. Well, his, his, his kids have been getting the benefit of him being the father. And now these other kids are now getting what he has left to give to these new children who are walking through his door. They're not his biologicals, 
because they're not the chosen, but they still get the benefit of having him as a father. So they're getting literally the scraps that fall off the table. And that's not how a relationship should work in a blended family, but that is the best description of this situation. So, really? So this Jesus character is keeping a divisive energy throughout this whole story. But what do you guys think? And always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.